We're following some breaking news at this hour. Maryland Governor Wes Moore and other state leaders are holding a press conference. That is right. The briefing is about the controversy surrounding the FBI's decision to build its new headquarters in Prince George's County instead of Springfield, Virginia. Now we are breaking into that meeting to listen live. Take a listen. Wow. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Great morning. Y'all have seats. Please take seats. Please take seats. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Y'all. <laughs> Listen, it is, uh, I know it's a little rainy outside, but all that means is that, uh, that uh, there's tears of joy being spread all over the place right now. Uh, and we are so grateful. And, and I, I got to tell you, I, I can't, uh, I know I can't start naming every single person here and every single name because we would literally be here all day. And, uh, and I think the sun goes down at 5 p.m. And I know folks got busy days <laughs> going on. Um, but I cannot stress enough how big this is for Prince George's County. <laughs> Madam County Executive, we are so grateful because this is a big moment. I cannot stress enough how big this is for the state of Maryland. But also, I can't stress how important this is for the American taxpayer. I can't, and I can't stress enough how important this is for law enforcement. Because we currently, because there's currently an FBI building that just last weekend had a piece of concrete almost hit a person who's working inside of the building. They need and deserve better, and in Maryland, we will deliver that. <laughs> now, I know that uh, you know, in, we're, we're coming up on, on Veterans Day, and I want to give a, uh, a happy birthday to our Marine Corps Yay. brethren. Hoorah, hoorah. And a happy Veterans Day to, uh, to, uh, to everybody else. But I know there's something uh, in, in military that we learn, and it's a phrase that nothing given, everything earned. Nothing given, everything earned. And what we see here is this is a team that worked in unison. This is a team, Maryland, that worked together. And this is a team, and this is a room who illustrated and highlighted the fact that partnership produces progress. And only partnership can produce progress. We're excited about this because this is the right decision for the country. And this is the right decision for the FBI too. And we know that because we are getting constant examples and reminders about the fact that we have to be able to move with a sense of urgency to be able to get this building right. That we're seeing across the country, we're watching an increased rate of hate crimes that are taking place in our communities, in our homes of worship, and all throughout our country, at a time when national security is changing and the national security needs are changing, and at a time when there is an increased focus on cybersecurity, at a time when access to affordable transit is not just a bonus, it is a necessity for employees in the modern workforce. And in this time and in this moment, there is absolutely no question that the FBI belongs in the state of Maryland and it belongs in Prince George's County. We have always known that we won on the merits. And actually, that's not just true now. That was true over a decade ago when the process began. We know that our state is gonna benefit. This, this, this decision, this is going to bring over 7,500 jobs to the state of Maryland, will generate over $4 billion of economic activity. And this is going to solidify our state as the tech and the cyber capital of the United States. But we also know this, that in Maryland, the FBI is going to be more effective. That in Maryland, the FBI will be more protected. That in Maryland, the FBI will be more successful at meeting its national security mission. 
We believe in the FBI. We are proud to support the FBI. We are thrilled that the FBI is coming to the state of Maryland. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I say this to everybody in the FBI. We're excited to work with you. We're excited to work together with you. And we're excited to work together to make sure that in this moment, we're not just going to get it right, but we're going to make you proud as well. But I know in order to get there, we needed a champion. And we got our champion. We got our quarterback, the person who's been spearheading this for over a decade. A person who, if you ever get a chance to have a conversation with Steny Hoyer, I can guarantee you in the first 30 seconds, <laughs> FBI together will come up in that conversation. He has been thorough, he has been diligent, he's been indefatigable, he's been data-driven. He didn't just help to make the argument, he helped to close the deal. Yep. We are so thankful that not only is Steny Hoyer ours, but we are so, so thankful that the future of the FBI is going to be in very good hands here in Prince George's County and in the state of Maryland. And that's because Steny Hoyer helped to get us here. I am proud. I am proud to turn this microphone over to the visionary and the architect, our friend, Congressman Steny Hoyer. Well, that was a low-key introduction. <laughs> I came just to hear the governor speak. <laughs> Hello, team. Hello. Hi. Hello. Barbara Mikulski is not here, but Barbara Mikulski talked about Team Maryland. <laughs> and although she's not in this room, she was there at the time that was critically important as we started this effort and moved it forward. I am so honored to be with the team because it was everybody joining together. Uh, Senator Cardin said, and we were just back in the room talking about it, everybody joined hands on this effort and had FBI <laughs> on their forehead everywhere they went. The council, the county executive, Angela, thank you so much for the leadership you have shown in making this happen. Rashern Baker, where's Rashern? Rashern Baker. And th th these folks are all gonna speak, and all of them played a critical role in getting us to this day, which is a victory, as the governor said, for the FBI. <laughs> a victory for the FBI and all the employees and all those extraordinary people who serve our country and whose mission is to keep our country safe and keep our people safe. And we're going to give them a facility that will be the best law enforcement facility in the world here in Greenbelt, Maryland. I'm proud to stand here, obviously. This is a huge victory. Bob Mueller. The director of the FBI, 14 years ago in 2009, came into my office. He said, our building is falling down. Our people are at risk who work here. The people who walk around our building are at risk. And it was designed for a law enforcement agency that no longer exists. We're in a new era. And we need a building that accommodates the way we do the work that we now do. And that's what this building is going to do right here in Greenbelt, Maryland. So this is an effort that was started by the director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. And the result of the work that all, so many people have done, 
in those 14 years is going to advantage the FBI and America because its mission is going to be better accomplished. The FBI needed a site in the region that was secure, affordable, and accessible, one suitable for the Bureau's crucial work. With that goal in mind, the GSA conducted a thorough, transparent, and objective site selection process. T. Maryland stood united throughout this process as we presented the facts and made our case for why our sites were the best choice for the FBI. There is no doubt in anybody's mind here, or I suggest you ultimately uh, at the uh, GSA, that an objective reading of all the facts led to the selection of the FBI headquarters at Greenbelt, Maryland, because it's best for the country, best for the FBI, and best uh, for the people. Our effort was always bipartisan. I want to thank Governor Hogan. He's not here either. Uh, but Governor Hogan stepped up with all of the Democrats and other Republicans uh, in this state and said, this is the place for the FBI. This is not a partisan effort. It was a bipartisan. I thank Governor Hogan for his Each side, you're going to read some articles, but each side had an equal opportunity to participate in the cons consultations and make their pitch. And you would have been so proud of this team, led by our governor, joined in by all of us here, at the GSA and the FBI in making a presentation on the facts. No pressure, no this, no that, no something else, on the facts. And on the facts, they did what we thought they would do, chose Greenbelt as the site for the new FBI. They weighed the facts and found that Greenbelt is the most transit accessible, provides the greatest schedule certainty of getting this building done, costs the taxpayers less. By that much? No. By that much? No. Over a billion dollars better buy for the taxpayer at Greenbelt, Maryland. This historic day for the FBI is the result of the cooperation and resolve of so many of all of us in this room and uh, around this state. I want to thank Ike Leggett. Ike Leggett is the former county executive of Montgomery County. Montgomery County. At the very beginning, Ike Leggett said, this is the proper place for the FBI to be placed. I already thanked uh, Barbara Mikulski. Chris Van Hollen is going to speak. Ben Cardin is going to speak. I'm going to introduce Ben in a second, as well as our entire delegation. And I'm, I should mention the Attorney General. He, he left our delegation. Um, <laughs> but he came back. But he, he, he's back here. <laughs> and why is he back? Because he worked very hard to make this happen. And very frankly, he and I just about shared this whole district with Landover and, and Greenbelt. I also appreciate the tremendous work, as I said, that Governor Hogan did. But let me tell you, I won't, I won't mention his name, but somebody came up to me and said, you know, this was an unfair competition. I said, what do you mean? It was a, uh, he was from Virginia, by the way. <laughs> it's an unfair competition. So I thought he was going to give it, you know. He said, yeah, you had more. <laughs> we had Yunkin. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. I want to thank President Ferguson and Speaker Jones and their colleagues in the General Assembly. Yeah. Maryland stepped up to the role. I want to thank the mayor uh, of this great city called Greenbelt. I, I want the Greenbelt uh, Council people to stand up, please. Greenbelt, right. Greenbelt. I want the County Council to stand up. All right. Prince George's yeah. County. Yeah. And 
I want us, the, the ones who aren't standing here, I want members of the State Senate and the House of Delegates to stand up. And I want all the rest of you to stand up because we're a team. Come on, stand up, stand up. This team was made up of every political uh, group, uh, every generation, every level of government. Together, we put Maryland's best foot forward, and it was good enough and great enough to be selected correctly as the site of an extraordinary law enforcement agency. I speak for all of us when I say we are eager to welcome the FBI to Maryland as soon as possible. And I join the governor, the delegation, uh, the governor and his team, Lieutenant Governor, uh, the Attorney General, the Comptroller, all going to be working to make this the best move any federal agency has ever made. Right. I'm proud of what we've done. And I'm, I thank the Governor and I thank all of you. Together we go further. Is that it? Something like that. <laughs> and that's what happened here. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to a partner that I've had since 1966. When he and I were elected to state legislature together with Paul Sarbanes. 1966, we went to the, he went to the House, and I went to the Senate. Uh, I thought the Senate was the more important body. I, Changed my mind on that. <laughs> my friend Ben, who made such a difference in this success. Ben Cardin, our senior senator. Nice. And that was Governor Wes Moore and other state leaders addressing the new FBI headquarters in Prince George's County. You heard them there talking about it bringing more than 7,500 jobs to Prince George's County, along with $400 billion to the economy as well. They talked about it also being the cyber capital of the United States as well. That is right. And Governor Moore said nothing given, everything earned. The whole team worked together. They talked a lot about teamwork, and it took the entire team to bring the FBI headquarters to Prince George's County. They're very excited about that. And they said the FBI deserves better than what they they're currently housed in so they said Prince George's County is going to do that for them. Yeah we'll have to see what happens with all of this and of course we'll have more on this throughout the day on DC News Now. You can also continue to watch this press conference online as well on dcnewsnow.com and be sure to stick with us for continued updates as we continue to dig deeper into this decision and push back on the FBI and everything that it's facing.